almost 10 years ago, I launched Your Pretty Pennies, my online financial brand where I create content to inspire and educate women on how to manage money well. And um, over the years, I have evolved into being not only a financial success coach, but a content creator and a public speaker. And oftentimes, I'm setting up my very simple, very basic vendor table. Because, you know, and honestly, I see a lot of vendor tables at the events that I go to, and a lot of them are very elaborate, very full of product to the point where it can give the buyer or the customer or person who's walking by analysis paralysis because there's so much being offered that they don't know what to get. I found that as a speaker, whenever I go to a speaking engagement and I set up my table to where afterwards they can follow up with me, we can kind of chat and they can see what I offer, me only offering my financial planner has been the biggest help because it's $25. So it's a low price point to where they can buy into my brand, my business, get something that um, they can take away that they could use for 12 months. And it also puts them in my funnel, right? So as a business owner, we have a funnel where we kind of give them a small lead or, or I'm sorry, a small tripwire or a product that's low cost to wear. They'll start to know, like, and trust our brand and us as a brand uh, face. And then they will start to buy more and more and maybe get into coaching purchase my online course, that type of thing. And so whenever I'm setting up my vendor table, the only thing that I put on there is the ultimate financial planner. I put my business cards, I put a cute pin on there that they can get with their purchase. And then also encourage them to go to my website to see what products and services that I offer on there just to start that relationship. I don't like to overwhelm them with everything that I offer. And so, you know, my most popular best-selling um, item is what I bring to my vendor table. So let me know in the comments as a business owner, if you ever do vendor tables, vendor events, you have a table that you do for your speaking engagements, what do you include on your table? Is it elaborate? Is it basic like mine? Let me know. I am so curious and love to learn from other people.